Thank you. New developments on an officer involved shooting in Vinton. As we first reported, Doña Ana deputies were searching for a vehicle involved in a hit and run, leading to a chase that started in New Mexico and ended right here in Texas. KTSM 9 News reporter Bree Lockhart is live in Vinton with the latest Bree. Natasha, like you said, the chase ended here on Larry Road, where police exchanged gunfire with Richard Guerra, ultimately sending him to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. And in the video, a shower of glass pours from Guerra's vehicle. That cascade is from his shooting out the back window, and that was the first shot fired. Now, according to police, Guerra was a 28 year old male with a criminal record history leading back to 2016. Police say this was among three officer involved shootings with Dasso in the past couple of months. Sheriff Kim Stewart says the officers were fired first. The incidents I'm aware of right now, we've been fired upon first. So uh, I don't know, other than the normal review through all IS, I don't know what we would do to possibly uh, alter that fact. It's an unfortunate fact that we seem to be in a very violent period of time. The three Dasso officers have been placed on admin leave per policy while the incident is still under investigation. Stewart does say the investigation is concurrent with Texas Rangers. And we'll make sure to keep you updated on there and online as we learn more. Back to you. And Bree, as you mentioned, uh, this all started in New Mexico. So do you know how long the entire chase lasted? Yeah, so the chase actually lasted only 14 minutes, starting around 7 p.m., but the sheriff does say it could have been worse if there was more traffic at the time. Back to you, Natasha. All right, Bree Lockhart reporting live from Vinton. Thank you so much, Bree. Well, four emergency responders.